Morning guys and welcome to another Southway 1943 video. Today we are going to be taking a look at or here at the HST TTS Valenta sound from Hornby. Now as you know from my channel you will have seen that I already have the MTU version uh, TTS chips from Hornby in my green first great western or sorry great western railway um old oak common set in the castle set now i have acquired the valenta version for the virgin set now let me just get it in the right direction there we go okay what i'm going to do first is i'm not going to start the engine yet i'm going to go through the sounds that are normal sounds that you probably might not hear above the engine itself so i'm going to go from the bottom so first of all uh dokie and um, bearing in mind, I'm using the NCE power cab system. Now, the first one is function 24, which is driver to guards acknowledgement. And that's all you get. Function 23 is your guards whistle. Pretty loud, actually. Next one is the HST in-cab 5L test. Function 21 is the AWS test in the cab. Function 20 is the windscreen wipers. And that carries on until you do turn it off. Function 19 is horn, which is prototype loco, which and it's high, low, high. So let me just do that for you. It's very tinny with the usual uh, speakers that Hornby provide for this loco. Bear me two seconds. I've just, that's it. Let's get rid of that function. Next one, F18, is again, prototype, loco sound, horn, and it is high and low. And again, I've just hit the wrong button. Bear me two seconds. Uh, bear with number 18. Again, it does sound a little bit tinny, but it works. Uh, function 17 is the driver safety device. Now, if you don't know what that is, um, that is the dead man's pedal that the driver has to hold down. Now, if the driver doesn't make any um, movements on controls, i.e. if he doesn't put the throttle throttles up any higher, or if he doesn't make a brake application, or he doesn't use the horn, or if he doesn't, use the AWS within 60 seconds that is what the driver safety device is it's a pedal and what he had to do is he'll get this bell that he will hear and it's an audible bell that is telling him that he has to momentarily release the pedal and press it back down again it's just so that the computer knows that the driver hasn't fallen asleep or hasn't Fall, uh, you know, fall in ill and slumped across the pedal. But obviously, if the driver didn't release the pedal and put it back down, obviously the computer would be going, okay, there's a problem, right, let's apply the brakes and stop this train. So that is the driver safety device. Function 16 is flange squeal. Again, sounds a bit tinny with the speaker that comes with the uh, TCS decoders. I will be upgrading these decoders eventually. Um, I will be putting hopefully either the EM1 or the EM2s into it from uh, Roads and Rails. Function 15 is engine primer. So this would be used, say like first thing in the morning, um, when the driver books on, goes to the engine obviously, and it's gonna be a cold engine start. 
So there's your primer. Function 14 is horn, and this is put on here as fancy horn. Every HST driver, if he's any good, can do that. Must admit that is an actually nice fun feature for Hornby to put on to the TTS. Option, sorry, option, function 13 is another horn which is high, low, high, and it's at when the train is passing. So obviously this is when it's going to be at speed. Quite an interesting one actually. I've not ever heard that kind of horn on any sound decoder out there. So Hornby, well done, thumbs up for that one. Option 12, so sorry, function 12 is the fan. Now I've turned that function off and it takes a good five to 10 seconds to wear down. Okay, function 11 is cab door slam. I'm not sure. Yep, and there is various ones on there. So I think there was at least two different sounds on there, which I think is a good thing. Um, it probably always comes up with the same one. As you heard, there was one on there that came up quite a majority of the time. But, you know, at least you might get the other one at another occasion. F10 is your compressor. Function 9 is not a sound function, it's what they call um, cold start override. So if you do not have function 9 active when you start loco up, it will just generate a normal warm start. I will um, show you this in the video in a little bit. Function 8 is fresh. I'm not sure if that will work straight away. No, again, so that again is when the engine is running. Let me just double check that, turn that one off. No, I didn't. Function seven is returning the engine to idle. So again, you need the function uh, one engine start on for that. Function six is notching down. Function five, notch up. Function four is brake squeal. Function three is horn and it is high, low, high. Function two is horn and it's just high and low. Now with the NCE power cab, you can just activate function two, which is the high low horn, but just by using the horn whistle button um, on the power cab. Right, without further ado, let's show you the, what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna turn on function nine. So now function nine is turned on and I will do a cold start. And as you can hear, You can hear the engine trying to fire. The engine will not start until you turn function nine off. So I'm now gonna turn function nine off.
Now that is the full length startup procedure of the Hornby TTS. Now I've watched other people's um, Valencia engine startups and I don't think that they've got anything like what Hornby have done. Hornby have done that really, really well. So that's a, that is a thumbs up from me for Hornby. Um, I've tried this cold startup on my MTU engine and it's nowhere near as good. Absolutely nowhere near as good. So Hornby, you need to look at the MTU version, but leave the Valenta version alone. I did like that. So what I'll do now is I'll shut the engine down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna give it, that was the cold start, now I'm gonna do the normal warm start and you will hear obviously the difference. And then this, and with the warm start, you you leave function nine off. There you go, the engine is now ready. So there you can hear the difference between the two starts, the warm and the cold start. Now, I will be doing another little video later on um, where I do, well, I'm gonna try and do a complete sequence of driver getting into cab, going through all the safety devices, priming, cold start, and then pull off. But for this video, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of the engine pulling away so you can hear the Valenta. The only thing that I will say with the with this is listen very carefully because I don't think there is something right here. Let me know in the comments below if you think the sound is correct. Just bring it back so you can listen again. Now as you saw and as you heard, the HST set came to a complete stop, but you could hear the turbo still going and winding down. Now under a cold situation, you wouldn't have the turbo doing that. Also, if you look, look and listen carefully, as soon as the engine starts, the Valenta turbo screen kicks in. That is not prototypical. That is the only downside so far that I've seen of Hornby on this sound decoder. Listen. Now you can see how slowly that's creeping. The turbo wouldn't be screaming. You wouldn't hear the turbo doing that on a prototype. I hate to use the word prototypical, but that is the only thing with this Hornby decoder on the TTS um, I do disagree with. Listen again.
Again, dead start. Turbo still screaming. Slowly winding down. That's the only thing I have to pick fault with this TTS decoder. Apart from that, very, very good decoder. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have liked it, please hit the like button. Please, if you want to share the video, please share it. And if you want to comment, please do. And if you want to subscribe, be very nice to have you on board on, on the channel. Until the next time, guys, take care, have a nice day, and stay safe. Bye-bye for now.